Say hello. Hello. It's early in the morning. We're getting veg. I'm Tree, and this is Project Transparency. Yes, my bed head is very entertaining today, and I thought you should all see it. It's kind of fun. So, you all might notice that the image resolution and just quality have, has gone up. And that's because I sucked it up and bought a newer, better camera thing, plus it w there was a 4th of July sale because I live in the States and anything for a sale here, I guess. But yes, I got a, a new little friend and I like it and I'm still learning how to use it in a way that doesn't make me want to tear my hair out. So there you go. About right. Uh, it also means that I'm having to fight with Movie Maker on my laptop because my Mac is older than the Vlog Brothers. If that tells you how old my MacBook is. And I have not gotten a new one, so I'm using Movie Maker right now, and it is not my favorite thing to do. So, yay for that. Community calendar. So, I have Definitely De Pure coming up next week, 18th. And it will be a Great Harvest Bread Company. If they ever email me back, which would be lovely because I sent them an email about, you know, doing the thing and have heard nothing, I may have to call them. I, I don't like to use phones. Phone, phone, phones give me anxiety. So, yeah. Yeah, I can do a video blog thing. I, I can do a vlog, but <laughs> calling somebody on the phone is a problem. Welcome to adulthood. So it occurs to me as I am editing the video for today that I have not done the promised video from my trip to Illinois. And that is because, gentle viewers, I have been incredibly sick for like the last week. Going to Illinois did not agree with my system, especially since I got a really bad sunburn and ate too much stuff with gluten and I have a gluten intolerance, so that was dumb of me. And I'm babbling at the camera because I don't know what to talk about today. I'm sorry. I think it's because I'm trying not to talk about the fact that I had to move a bunch of stuff out of my studio so that a wall could be built between my studio and another studio's space, even though a wall already existed. And I'm going to insert footage here, there we go, right after I did it because I was not a happy camper and I am still not a happy camper because of various and sundry reasons. So I'm here at the art garage on, which is not where I really want to be. I'd rather be at home. I'm still tired from having done the driving thing last weekend. But I have to because I have to clear, clear out my studio because somebody decided that they wanted to build a wall between a couple of the studios and my stuff's in the way. And they gave me about four days to do this on a holiday weekend. So, yay! This is my studio cleaned out for the proposed wall construction that will go right there. Think they have enough room? Yeah. I'm not going to talk about because it's already done. There's nothing I can do about it. And it may not affect me any longer because I'm thinking about getting rid of my studio at the art garage. My studio rent at the art garage isn't like huge. If I didn't have to pay that, I could do other things like entering shows and getting more like art reference stuff and materials. And like I said, it's not a huge amount, but it kind of stacks up after a while. And I have to consider the fact that I may have out grown the mission. Not even the mission. The mission is brilliant. The art garage's mission is brilliant. But how it's enforced and how it's played out is not necessarily in alignment with how I want my art practice to go. So I have to consider that. And I can because my stu studio lease ended in May. Not that anybody told me until I asked. And there, there are other options now to be seen. I mean, there, there have been the, these options for a while. The putting your work on the internet and having it be seen and Etsy and things like that. But there's also gone into the land of YouTube. I'm a YouTube art person now, sort of, kind of. I'm working on it. I, this is what, the 14th one I've done? It's, I'm not very far into it. But yeah, there are other ways to do this and I think there are better ways for me to do this, especially since I live in a part of the country that 
doesn't really appreciate the kind of art I make because I am conceptual. I am extremely conceptual. And a lot of times Thomas Kincaid is the epitome of art here, which there's nothing wrong with Thomas Kincaid, I guess, but not not the kind of thing I do. So yeah, a lot of things to consider. And it, you thought artists just sat around and drew pictures and played with paint, right? <laughs> There, there's a, a lot more that goes into this than a lot of people think, which is why I'm doing this project, so that other people can see. And, you know, Lane, because I know you don't always get a chance to watch these because your, your, your schedule is screwy, doesn't begin to cover what your schedule is like. You know, leave me a comment or PM me or email me or something, text me. You know, use the mystical, magical technology at your disposal and, and tell me what you think because I, I, I think this might be something I need to do. And Gnome is thinking that it's the right thing for me to do and so is Corey, but I would like your opinion too. Actually, anybody who's watching, please give me your opinion because <laughs> I would like to know. And it, it also means that, you know, I, I, I'll have more time to do things like this. I'll be able to do more demos for y'all and yeah, I think it could be a good idea. I have started a Patreon for those who might be interested in supporting Project Transparency and Tentacle Made Studios endeavors, especially since I do do the State and Stir arting demos and talk about theory and try to demystify the making of art. So yeah. If you all would potentially like to donate, there will be a link in the drawer. A link in the drawer. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. <laughs> there will be a link in the drawer to my Patreon, as well as the usual links of things, which theoretically next week I will have my first shirt from Redbubble with my own art on it, so y'all can see it. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Lane, remember to like, tell me what you think. Everybody else tell me what you think too. But Lane, yeah, I, I, I want to know your opinions on the thing. Bye.